at trash on the beach and eating at a farm to table restaurant and talking about honeybees and all of that. And so I think it's a pretty good show. I do you think you'll ever get honeybees out of the farm? I don't know. That's a that's I don't know you I know you well enough to know I don't that, that is something that you'd want to do. It's not that it's not that I don't want it. I mean, I definitely want to have them them there as pollinators, and of course, I appreciate the honey, but I don't really want to manage that. That's not a project that I'm into managing. So I, I like it better when someone else manages that particular yeah, type of project. I've learned more about bees with the work that you've done than I knew about them, but I don't know how much maintenance it is. How much is a hard maintenance to do? You get to go with the cool suits, and you get to wear the cool hoods, and you get to have the so cool. the, the smoker, the smoker. I, I, that would just I be fun to own. I don't, yeah, I don't get into that same type of thing. So. My 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 beer is gone. <laughs> yeah, so is my drink. <laughs> I just had a feel this like it felt awkward that first week, so I kind of thought let's let's. Well, the awkward thing about drinking a beer or just on, drinking on a like, Facebook while someone live watching you talk like, with this. <laughs> corona growth, <laughs> Corona growth with my here. Corona growth, right? Because then I take a sip and I, you know, it's all casual. I'm drinking a beer and whatever, and then I, and I just know that it's this foam, and then I go <laughs> and on camera over and over and over, and I, I, I think that it's time to get. My we talked food. about that a little bit. Well, I think you clipped the. Clipped it out and put it at the very end of last week's episode. Episode like, 49. Or you have foam on your beard. Right. We do this thing at the very end. Well, he does this thing. At the very end of the episodes yes. where he'll like clip out these funny little anecdotes. If there's funny, a funny little blooper. stories, bloopers, yeah. whatever. That didn't make it into the reel because they didn't really fit. And it was us chasing a rabbit anyways. And so last week it was me talking about the foam on your mustache. And I couldn't. I'm sitting across the table from him at a podcast. And he's drinking beer and he's got foam right here. I mean, what do you do? Like, just watch it? <laughs> it is a tradition now that I'm enjoying a beer every while we record. It doesn't matter if it's 10 in the morning. <laughs> it wouldn't matter if it were 10 in the morning. We never recorded at 10 in the morning. No, no. More like 1 o'clock. So what was your favorite part of last week's episode, episode 49? Well, now that you've had a week to reflect. I... We talked about food abundance, and food abundance has become my, like, catchphrase. It's what I do. Mm -hmm. I create food abundance, and then I talk about food abundance. And so that's what we talked about a lot of last episode. And um, I, I like that about me, and I like that about what we can talk about with the podcast. I like being able to share food and stories about food and how to make more food for yourself and your friends and your family and your neighbors. And so food abundance was... The most important. If you haven't listened to last week's episode, go back and listen to it so that you can hear all about food abundance and for, sharing. For, for me, it was that notion of the, the the dishes that that have gone at least now through three generations. Oh yeah, yeah. For you, that was good. it was the chicken spaghetti that your grandmother did yeah. that passed it down to yeah, your mom, yeah. that served it to you as a kid, and now I guess four generations because we're serving it to yeah. our kids. And this idea... Food traditions is good. You see yeah. it in the movies all the time. We're coming home for Thanksgiving. I hope mom makes my favorite... This one, da, this da, one, da, 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 da. one, Whatever the food traditions are, yeah. Right. So I guess for us, the one that we've certainly passed along and the, the grain-free has gotten in the way of is your chicken and dumplings. Yes. What? The casualties of it's your so... grain-free diet. <laughs> it's a casualty of your grain-free diet. The idea that we don't get the... That's Lily's favorite. We had Indian tonight, this this morning, I, we said, hey, what are we going to do for dinner? Because we got no kids here. <laughs> and you said, let's do something special. And special and means take out Indian food from our favorite little Indian food restaurant. I don't think that you, I think that you can say, let's do something special. And it's going to mean Indian takeout really for the rest of our time. What's funny is, is that we had this whole conversation about what's takeout and what's, what's special and what, not, not what's takeout, what's special. What does that mean? And. Any man could be thinking, like, what does their woman want? She says something special. We're by ourselves. We don't have the kids. Okay, it's corona time, so we're not going to do the traditional date necessarily, but what does she mean by special? And he literally nailed it on the head. He was like, do you want Indian food? And I was like, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I brought the Indian food home, and you wanted to watch, continue watching. What is the name of it? Down to Earth. On Zach Netflix. Efron. Y'all should Netflix. check it out if you haven't watched it yet. It's I'm on like episode six or seven now. So yeah, it's idea. pretty good. Yeah. I like it. They the talk idea. about good food that I like, and they talk about sustainability, and they travel. And Zach Efron's not bad to look at, even though he could be my son practically. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so this Monday. We've got a new episode coming out. We do. A big, nice round, big number, 50. I know. Can you believe it, y'all? 50. I think that we're going to celebrate, rather, probably avoid a celebration of 50, even though that is a nice, big, round number. I'm impressed that we got to 50. Are you? You thought, was there ever a doubt? I don't know. I mean, a big, we take on big projects. That's a big project. We're at 50 weeks. 50 weeks of something we have that never missed took no hours of editing and then we're going to celebrate 52. Yes, we're going to celebrate year 52. Anniversary. I think we should do a 1.2 version. So like there's an episode, right. episode one, if you haven't watched it, it's like 15 Watch. minutes long, Le whatever, you know what I mean. If you haven't listened to it, it's about 15 minutes long and it's who's, what's, when's, why's, where's. It's like, hey, this is what we're going to do. And it was done an entire year ago so i think we should do 1.2 i think it's time for me to re-listen to episode one and just see if we got it right it's it's i've listened to it recently yeah. it's not bad but it's time for us to give it like An okay update. now what when where why an upgrade because it has changed and how we adapted things and how we've molded the art of the dinner table maybe here live uh when we do saturday night at the dinner table mm -hmm. next week that's where we'll talk about what we plan, as much as we care to talk about, for episode 52. Possibly. That sounds like fun. You follow me? So. We better come up with what we're going to do for episode 52. We're gonna it's start coming soon. We're what's, what's going on. It's coming My soon. My favorite part, without saying too much, because you should listen. For the upcoming episode. Yeah. Of, of, you should definitely listen on Monday. Of upcoming episode 50 is um, an unanswered question uh -huh. about... Something that I said in episode 49, and I just kind of pulled it out of my butt, and that was that there's a, a, a decline <laughs> in neighboring in America. And I knew that I could say that with authority and that I could go to Google and just easily find uh, any kind of article or papers or anything written about that topic. <laughs> and they, it is kind of written about, but there is no, I couldn't find any definite declarative idea that I was not just completely making that up but there are plenty of articles about how to be a good neighbor and we go through them a few of the points in those articles and see deep. if we're a good neighbor or not but it then we do deep. what we do which is to go down a rabbit hole into the idea you mentioned that two <laughs> streets over <laughs> that direction two streets that way <laughs> is our Grocery, grocery store. store. Our grocery mm -hmm. store. Now, sometimes I'll drive past a perfectly good grocery store, that one, to get to even a better grocery store when I'm looking for the gourmet stuff. But it kind of devolves. We have a gourmet grocery store, and it's not like a fancy natural food it's gourmet. gourmet to me. It's just our grocery store, but it's the gourmet one. Right. And so, <laughs> but in the one that's close to the house, I talk about. How I how how much I'm enjoying the idea that every once in a while you can go to the grocery store and not be seen. No, I, don't see. I don't want to see anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone except that this typically will give me away. Was it hidden? Your there? beard. Yeah. People know your beard. This yeah. is what gives me away. Yeah. And I imagine that if we put this on you, this is what gives you. <laughs> now away. my red hair is what gives me away. But we so, do a little. Devo devolution into uh, the grocery store. I, I enjoyed that part. And we talked about Monday. what a crazy person I am and how much I love black pepper, which is not really a secret. Everyone already knows that about me. So, okay. Last week, yes. okay, we had decided two weeks ago that one of the things we're going to do every week when we do this is table topics. Because we think, I mean, this is off the cuff, y'all. When we pull out of table topics right now, we don't know what question we're about to answer. We forgot to do it last week. So if we have time, and I don't think that we do because I we kind of chased away a lot of rabbits. Okay, so we're just doing one this week. Okay. But we like the table topics concept. You're going to ask me first? I'm in charge of asking this time. And I'm going to ask you, you the same question. I'm pulling it out. You saw it. Right, go, go, go. What do you say when someone gives you a gift you already have? 
Oh boy, I have learned the hard way that it is just appropriate to be honest. And it is just appropriate to be honest. I agree with that statement across the board. Be honest right. all the time. Be honest. But I got into this situation where I, it's not even dishonesty, it's omission, which I guess some people would say is dishonest. But just because you gave me this awesome uh, sparkling city by the sea mask and I already have one, Big doesn't Malina. mean that I have done anything wrong in having received it prior to you giving it to me. So I had to learn to say, oh, that is awesome. That depends like, on, the, on the magnitude of the gift. If it was a very small gift, eh, keep your mouth shut. But if it's something that's clearly... Yeah, well, I mean, if it... Okay, you got, like, what, the year that you got double Instant Pots at the same time, you mm -hmm. had to deal with that. Like, get the receipt and take sure. some back so you can get something different. What do you say when someone gives you a gift you already Listen, have? Listen, I think this question is garbage <laughs> because it's shallow and I don't give two shits about this. What are you talking about? Well, it's just... I, I don't care. Like, I don't care to talk about the things that we get as gifts and whether or not, like, what's the appropriate way to handle that. Well, maybe I, the gift giver cares. Okay, fine. Fine. So, therefore, yes, I'm going to say, oh, thank you. Here's the deal. I was so excited about getting an Instant Pot this year that I told everyone I love that I wanted an Instant Pot. Right. So, I got three Instant Pots this year. So, what, are we selling Instant Pots now? <laughs> yeah, every, Buy the mixes, whatever, whatever. I got three of them this year, and I uh, would like to exchange this for some air fryer. Don't buy an air fryer; those are not worth it, worth your time. We're not selling air fryers; right. we're selling instant pots. So, anyways, that's what I would do. I, it's not a good question. It's a terrible question. Yeah. Terrible, terrible question. You want to do one more? No. Okay. It's time to go. All right. We love y'all. Oh, will... I'm going to go turn the camera off now? Yes, okay. go turn the camera off. Listen. See you Monday. Listen on Monday to episode 50 and tune into my YouTube channel. It's awesome. It's Aislinn Campbell and I love you guys.